Nature abhors a vacuum. True or false? False. The universe is actually 99.99999% vacuum. You can argue, of course, that there's no such thing as a perfect vacuum since black body radiation fills the entire universe, but there essentially is nothing in vast space. True, photons and other particles traverse space all the time, but they neither fill it up nor even care to stop for coffee. And why are we talking about vacuum in peace education? Because only in a vacuum can anyone find perfect peace. There are neither oppressed nor oppressors in a vacuum, no slaves, nor masters, nor rich or poor, no child abusers, no wife batterers, no racists, no bigotry, no hunger, no war. But no coffee shops either. In time, if physicists are to be believed, gases and cosmic dust formed into crumbs and buns and stars and planets and coffee beans. And so now you have your entities, soil, air, water, alamid, and people, and conflict. And therein lies the universal fundamental dilemma. No entities, no life, no identities, no diversity, no conflict, but no coffee as well. Anyone who wants perfect peace then simply needs to live in a vacuum. But if you want perfect coffee, it comes with complementary humans and conflict. So it's down to either vacuum or coffee, nothingness or society, peace or diversity. Coffee, please. We may debate all we want whether we evolved, were created, or even both, but there's no denying that diversity is a fact of life. Diversity is characterized by similarities as well as differences between life forms, social identities, and things in general. The very diversity that makes the world a profoundly beautiful place is also the root cause of all violence. The principle is simple. Differences breed differences. In topics 2, 3, 4, and 5, we will discuss the four stages of diversity. And these are the many diversities in ecology, genders, economics, and beliefs. And while all four spheres of diversity have their own distinct characteristics, they are all interconnected. And for us, peace simply means equity and mutual recognition in all four domains of diversity. <laughs> 